Hello. Happy Homer Wednesday, everybody. We always run one day behind, it seems. Yeah, or we get it in too late on Wednesday, like midnight, or it's usually in the Thursday morning. Anyway, this one's going to come out a little bit later because I've got editing, and it's been a crazy week. I haven't been able to get to it. But we've got a few things to catch up on and uh, mention. What we have here is the Liberty Ale clone that we did, and it's a bit, it's a bit modified. We um, dry hopped with some Centennial added instead of just... Uh, Cascade, so it's ready to go. This, Boy, this it year, is chasey though. Yeah, got a nice it's, nose, uh, and it's it's got like a sweet, happy, immediate, intense flavor. It's got the dry middle of the mouth, and then a real phenomenal aftertaste. It turned out great, and the head is just awesome on these. Um, no off flavors. Everything uh, came out spot on. Uh, clarity is pretty nice. It's a little bit of haze on the outside of the glass, but uh, anyways, they turn out great. So, cheers, everybody. Yeah, real nice lacing on this, too. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, about six, six so, and a half percent. <clears throat> Sunday, we bottled up the Wilco Tango Foxtrot. Yep. And we That's did like nice. 28 bombers, so 22 ounces. 22 ounce bottles. It was real nice. It's a pretty scene when you get that many big bottles, big bottles all together, yeah. and they're all clean and filled fresh. Fresh. Now it's just the waiting game. Yeah. And patience be with us. So we and can then uh, we those. rack the uh, stout over to nope. the secondary? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I, I checked the gravity last night, and I did a tasting of it. Uh, it's been in primary for a week and a half, and I'll tell you, it's, it's fermented down to 1018. Uh, it's real stable, and it's starting to clear up nicely. It does look like a stout. Uh, I thought the chocolate was going to leave a more of a brown to it, but it turned out to look pretty dark. It's, it's looking good. So we're going to um, probably rack that over to secondary this weekend. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking I'd like to brew this weekend. So if we can, we're going to work that into the schedule. We'll see how it goes. I'm thinking Saturday we might be able to work out a brew day. Um, got two other um, brews that we're going to be doing. So probably do a porter this weekend. Um, in addition, Sunday we had a beautiful day and we planted some hops. Um, so I've got some footage of the bottling, a little bit of bottling footage and some hop planting footage. I'm going to sneak that into this video. Try to keep it short, and at least watchable uh, length. Also, um, I'm going to send uh, congratulations out to Justin Elder I, uh, on your new addition. Hope all is well with the family and mom and uh, you guys are doing well. Also, um, special thanks to to Larmo for thanks. Yeah, Larmo twenty two pointing out, uh, <laughs> calling us out, shouting yeah, us out on, on his uh, homebrew Wednesday today. That was fantastic. It was good, real nice. So thanks, man. Hope you and enjoyed. And he's got he's got a nice setup. And he really he's does. Doing some nice stuff. He's awesome. Check him out, guys, if you haven't already. I'm sure you have, but uh, if you haven't, take a look. Uh, also. Um, uh, time for another one had his first brew uh, doing the SJ Poor experiment. That was a fantastic uh, watch. I loved watching that movie, that video, because uh, it's funny. Uh, time for another one's how I got into Homebrew Wednesdays and started watching the videos and the brew tubers. So um, I think I got to him through the American Homebrew Association uh, website somehow on his the write up he did on his uh, uh, heat exchanger, the Hex. So anyway, I found his channel and then just went from there, spread like wildfire, found everyone else. and So that's what got me into it. So And this guy tells me about this this dad and his son that are doing this. <laughs> so thanks to Kevin and Christian. And Christian Clements. Yeah, that was nice because that's why I'm here. I mean, yeah. I, I brewed years ago, 20 years ago, I was making homebrew. And I just put it all aside and forgot all about it. And then this guy gets of age... Gets me interested again, and I love it. It's fun. Guilty. It's fun. Guilty yeah. as a charge. Yeah. Another one, uh, uh, another thing I wanted to mention is um, I got a, a message from a new subscriber. Um, I think it's Fishwater Brewery or Fishwater Brewing. I'm, I'm probably not remembering that right. If I didn't get it right, I'll put some text here in the video. Um, some really great stuff about uh, brewing water, chlorine and chloramines. He heard me mention chloramines in a video, so he sent me some messages. 
Uh, I think he's going to have some more details on that, maybe an article to uh, put out there to everyone. Uh, it's pretty good stuff. Um, and I might be meeting up with ORSTK320 this weekend, Kyle. So anyway, I'm going to try to uvu you over the next couple days and figure out where we can meet up. So that's it for that. And yeah. Catch you next week. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you, if not sooner. This is tasty. And thanks to all the new subscribers. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. See ya. See ya. Cheers. Now, who reaches the button? I'll get it. <laughs> all right, it's bottling day for the Wilco Tango Foxtrot. It's dark. There's a gravity sample. It's looking pretty good. Nice and clear. Hopefully that holds up once it goes to bottle, but uh, gravity's 1018, so it's, or 1016 rather. 1.016, right where, eh, pretty damn close to where it's supposed to be, so, but good. And now for the obligatory tasting of the gravity sample. Mmm, smells good. It doesn't have enough of the hoppy character that I was looking for, hoping for, but I didn't dry hop it, so that's right. Pretty roasty, dark malt. Not bad. She'll do. It's gonna be a lot better once it's carved up. <clears throat> so gonna get to bottling. All right, we're getting down to it. Holy cow. Racking for bottling. That's it. I like filling the big bottles. Yeah, we're bottling the big bombers today. How's it going? We're uh, over at Elder Peas. Gorgeous day. It's about 70, about 74, 75 degrees today. Unseasonably warm now. So just like a switch, Illinois weather is flipped into spring mode. So enjoying a Founders breakfast out. Freaking delicious. Uh, we're going to be doing some rhizome planting today sound you hear is Mr. P getting rid of some old empties that uh, we have an overabundance of empty bottles so we're going to get rid of some of the ones we're not going to use so anyway we'll be shooting some footage of the of the hop rhizomes going in and what we're going to be doing for setup see you in a few up some manure here to fortify this is well aged well aged horse manure, horse manure. it's probably are we finding snakes? Dr. Mason. Thanks, Dr. Mason. Is this about finding snakes? No, this is no. about planting hops. We're going to build up the soil with nutrients from this poop. Oh! This is poop. What are you standing in poop? Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Compost horse manure. Yeah. Alright, step one. Here, Mr. P's still They're working. Rolling. He's not letting me take over. He's hooking up some old comp. That's You're not going to carry that. Get a shovel. I'm you're going to drop over. that. I've got, already Dad, got. He's food. already got a few. Compost? This is compost. Waste a drop of that. This is compost from our. But this I don't know. Compost heap. That's it's just. Come out. No, that's not. That's gonna choke out the roots. Bags. That'll take out. That'll so, get out of there. so anyway, we got about half and half manure and compost. And, and then we've got some bone meal. We're gonna add to that. Bone meal we'll or bone ash? Bone, bone meal. meal. Bone meal, and you're gonna put in about. A cup. Well, a cup for. Hole, so maybe heel, maybe heel. you wait. Don't mix it into this. No, we'll no. Put it, we'll put a cup in each. Let me get each it. plot. Okay. All right. And you guys look, look at this. Look at this dirt. This dirt is beautiful. Look at that, dude. Worms, Grandpa. Physical activity. We're preparing the soil for our hop beds gonna dig down fill it up with manure and compost 
We're gonna have, <laughs> oh yeah, healthy night crawler. That's what makes this soil so rich. Oh yeah, this is good land. We're blessed here. We have eight and a half acres of property here in the cornfield and the woods down the back there with the creek running through it. We're really blessed. All right, this is a mix of manure and compost. Yeah, we covered that already. All right, well, I've just stirred the two together in this garden cart. Oh. <laughs> that one. You're wearing some. There we go. And then we've got... Get that plastic out of there. Yeah, I'll we'll get it out of there. Hey, Gavin, I need that shovel. Here's, here's the uh, bone meal. Oh. Need about... We're putting about a cup or so of bone meal in each hole to help with rhizomes. Then we'll mix this all up. Turn it over with the fork. Yep. There needs to be more. All right. Now. What? I can. Okay. Now we get the rhizomes. How there, we hold on. What you got there? This is a Willamette. Sprout in there, sprout there. We're gonna lay this in here. It's probably gonna be about two inches deep. Got a nice about bed. Inch and a half, two inches deep. Yep. We're gonna get this gonna covered this over. Yeah. Then we got some mulch. Hey. We'll we'll cover this up and we'll uh, put uh, mulch as they come up. We'll mulch them. Good. Nice work, Elder P. Yeah. We'll get I the like rest of them done. Digging in the dirt. Alright, we'll see you guys later. We're good. What you doing? Uh, fertilize. You're a shit tosser. All right, tell me what you got. Let me get the rundown here. Yep. Willamette. Tetanger. Where are you starting? Willamette. Nugget. Tetnanger. Nugget. Nugget. Northern Brewer. Northern Brewer. Centennial. Yeah. Cascade. Yeah, buddy. First year. Year one. <laughs>